You have reached the Treasury Inspector General Office. How can I help? Um, your number was on my pager, so I'm calling it back. I don't know why. Okay, when did you receive the call? Um, I don't know. It wasn't a call. It was your number was on my pager. It went through the service. Okay, what was the call about? I don't know. It's just a pager. I don't see that stuff on my pager. So, did you receive any case ID number? No. Okay, since you don't have a case ID number, can you verify your first name and your last name so that I can check on my system and give you the information? Yes, it's Donald Chasco. Can you spell that for me? Donald, D-O-N-A-L-D. Chasco, okay. C H A S K O. Okay, can you verify me your zip code? Yes, it's 98081. Okay. Okay, please give me a second. Let me check on my system and give you the information. Is that okay? Okay, go ahead. Hello, Eder. Yes. Could I get your name? Okay. I'm sorry? Could I get your name? Okay. My name is Officer Jerry Wilson. Officer Jerry Wilson? Exactly. Okay. And you can also write down my base number. Okay. That is... I R. Seven one six three nine. I R seven one six three nine. What do I do with that What's number? That? What do I do with that number? That's my bit. Yes, that's my bitch ID number. Okay. And write down your case number. Okay. That is C P eleven A five one seven two. Okay. What do I do with that number? That's your case number. I know. What do I do with it, though? What is it used for? So now I'm going to provide you each and every information, but before I proceed further, I want you to make sure that you do not interrupt me in between. As this line are recorded and monitored by the three different departments, that is the Internal Revenue Service, the Attorney General, and the local police department. So whatever is speech, it should be honest and truthful. Is that okay? It is, yes. Go ahead. Okay, so now, the Internal Revenue Service have pressed for criminal allegation under your name that is a violation of federal tax regulation. So did you do this intentionally to defraud the federal government, or it was an honest mistake from your side? I don't know what the mistake was. I don't know what's going on here. What do you mean? What did I do wrong? As I told you, there's there's a case under your name for tax fraud and tax evasion. Yes, but what did I actually do wrong? See, while, filing, while you are filing your taxes, you have paid less amount to which you are supposed to pay. So there's some major It's three thousand seven hundred fifty-six dollars with thirty-eight cents. Uh, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. I I paid three thousand seven hundred fifty-six dollars, but I didn't pay the thirty-nine cents. I didn't think I had to pay the the thirty-nine cents. That's probably where the mistake was. Can I just send you thirty-nine no. cents, and that'll be the end of that? No. We're not going to take any of your money. Is that okay? What? We're not going to take any of your money. You have to go to the nearest IRS office department to pay these taxes. Okay. 
It's not only about one year, it's about five years. The IRS has taken a random about five years, which means between the year of 2013 till the year of 2017. So they have taken random audit of this tax, and there are some major miscalculations found under the tax. And this $3,756 is not only a pending deficit. Yes, it's not only a pending deficit, but it includes your legal charges and your lat fee. Oh. So how much I owe altogether? It's 3756 with 39 sweat. Is, uh, is there more to do an arrest cancellation fee? So, right now, there's does that an include, option for Does you. that include an arrest cancellation fee? Because I don't want to get arrested. See, let me tell you, right now, there's an arrest worm for you. So, I know, I want right to cancel that. Okay, so right now, the courthouse provides you two options that is, you can hire a good attorney who can prove you not sent inside the courthouse and fight against your case inside the courthouse. Are you clear? Okay. Okay, and option number two, that is, you can resolve this case out of the courthouse. Uh by clearing up the outstanding amount without facing any legal charges. The legal charges already added, right? Yes. But does, so that, include the arrest, does that include the arrest cancellation fee? I'm sorry? Does that include the, the arrest cancellation fee? The arrest warrant cancellation no. fee? Is there going to be an arrest warrant cancellation fee? Say, I don't know whether you get this cancellation fee or not. But if you want to resolve this case, then I can transfer this call to senior officer who is taking care of a case file. So he'll be provide you each and every information what you have to do and where you have to go to pay this fee. Okay, thank you. Okay, so please be online. I'm All transferring right. the call. All right. La 